What's up, what's up, YouTube? What we have here is the Philips O'Neill, the Construct, over the ears headphones. Well, I'm sorry, on the ears. Um, I wanted to do a review and unboxing because I've searched all my life and I've not been able to find anything on YouTube that really goes in depth um, and something that's a quality video. So I wanted to do that for everybody else that may be considering these headphones. Um, Philips O'Neill on their website, they're uh, retailing this at $199. Um, never really had a pair of headphones uh, that cost more than 100 bucks. So I'm not really sure what to expect. And lately I've been using a pair of five ten dollar earbuds that uh, have been holding me off for some time. So I'm expecting this to more or less impress me. So let's check out what's in the box. Um, by the way, these are supposed to be very flexible, very durable. Um, you can twist the headphones, they do not break on you, they don't snap. And um, yeah, I'm hearing a lot of things about that portion of it, right? Just curious about the quality of the sound. Um, so it says it's tuned for bass. Um, it's supposed to have aluminum cans that pop right out in case they fall or you sit on them or you put it in your book bag and for some reason it gets a lot of pressure one way or another it'll pop right out as a safety precaution against damaging the headset and so let's just take a closer look at that so here's the headphones pretty light they feel nice pretty flexible <laughs> kind of scared to bend it that far back but uh they, they, they have a nice amount of give and they snap right back in place um, up here is sort of a neoprene uh, soft textile um, feels pretty good so far you see we have the flat audio cables going through um, so you can just twist it and whatnot and you know it's good to go um, so it's got an audio cable comes out here I'm not sure if that comes out on this end or not um, but uh, I'll leave a lot more details in the uh, in the description there so you can read up on it you can get the, the weight and the uh, I'll send you a link where you can purchase it and all that stuff um, so this is it here. It feels pretty soft, the ear cups. Um, I'm guessing it's a pleather sort of material. I didn't really read too much on, on that part of it. Um, but so far, it, it feels like it's got really good quality. Um, this does appear to be plastic, sounds like, and looks like plastic. Tastes like plastic. Um, it's gotta be plastic. But nevertheless, it's got a good review. Audio cable, let's check it out. It's supposed to have a mic built in, which was one of my main things because I like to listen to music and be able to switch over to a conversation while using my headset and hands free at the same time. So for me, that was uh, one of the things I was looking for, something that was kind of punchy on the bass, but not muddy. Um, some other little things I was looking for. But I'm going to go ahead and open this up. see what you can show off to the camera. So we have here in line in the mic, there's the uh, audio control, the volume slider right there. Then there's also a button there to press it. I guess that's to answer a phone call, play pause. Um, without looking at the manual, that's my best guess. And the mic is probably built right into this unit here. I'm sorry, here it is. So the mic is right in there. You would just plug it up like so, and you're ready for your tune. Packaging is out of the way, and I'm not sure if the camera's in focus or not, but go ahead and take a look at that. Good deal. Okay, so take this puppy here, plug him in like so, and I'm not sure how well this is going to come across on YouTube, but I will play some music here at about, say, 50% volume just to check the sound leak because I know for myself personally, I don't want to disturb people around me or if I'm having a conversation, I don't want people to eavesdrop. So for me, being able to contain the sound or at least somewhat, you know, uh, reserve it for myself, my own purpose of listening, uh, you know, my own privacy, I like, I like earphones that do not leak. So for these, it's hard for me to tell without putting them on my head um, so what I'll do is I'll kind of do a, but you know what, I will put it on my head. I'll put out 50% volume, I'll put it on my head, and 
hopefully the mic can uh, pick up how much she can hear it. So this is without this is without it on my head. And this is on my head. All right, so I have to say, um, I don't believe these are rated as noise counseling headphones, but you put these suckers on and they block out everything. Um, definitely, that's, that's a good thing. I like that a lot. And just by putting my hands over the ear cups, it does sound like it, it blocks a lot of the noise out which is pretty good. Um, so I'm going to turn it up just a little bit. Actually, I'm going to go to full volume. Let's find a decent part of track here. All right, so you can tell these are, it's got some volume to it. <laughs> They're pretty loud. So this is at 100% off of my head. And 100% on my head. I couldn't do that for too long, that's pretty loud. Um, as far as the audio quality goes, the highs, they sound like they're there. Um, maybe I can follow up in the description with my thoughts on the sound quality, but initially it, it sounds like it's uh, pretty decent. I'm not gonna say it's, it's, it sounds bad at all. Um, but I'll have to continue listening it, to, to it in a couple of tracks and variation of uh, genres to get a better feel for, for what we have here. But I mean, overall the construction, it feels pretty good. Uh, pun intended. Actually, it wasn't, but still. Um, this it, it seems like a pretty good uh, set of headphones. If you are considering it, I would say, you know, pick it up. Put it up there on the top three. Um, maybe check some other reviews out. On Amazon, these guys got, a, I believe it was a 4.8 out of 5. I'm sorry, I take that back. I believe it was a 5 out of 5 out of uh, the reviews that were left. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's that. So you have your headphones, they're pretty lightweight. You put them on and they hold securely so I can move my head around and they're not jumping off my head. So I can rock out with my piece out. And I did actually see a review, or not a review, but a video on YouTube with some guy doing some free jumping with these or free running. So that goes to show you how well they will stay on your head. Overall, so far I'm impressed. I like them. I think it was money well spent. I didn't buy my retail. Um, the $200, if I bought them 200 I may be thinking a lot different about these. But so far, I like them, and uh, I give them a thumbs up. So if you have any questions, please leave a little comment below. And uh, hopefully I can get back to you, can discuss some things, answer questions, and bounce ideas off of each other and whatnot. So uh, thanks for watching, and you have a good one.